have here is a 1963 Caterpillar 3304 Marine Diesel Engine. And it is big. It is a hoss. It will make this boat really move. I've seen her in the water. She can really move. Unfortunately, from what I've been able to find out, they don't make parts for this anymore, unfortunately. Um, marine parts, anyways. They're rather hard to find. They still use these in construction equipment. But uh, finding it for marine applications is a little hard. So, I've turned it around. I've got the engine box flipped up the other way now. So now we're up close against the bulkhead. Just a different view of it, and if you notice, there's some cutaways here on the floor. What that's for is so you can open these up right here. It's got two batteries right over here. You can see them there, hopefully. Mm. I'll do a little handy cam in a second. And you can see down there where the uh, where the batteries are. Hopefully you can see that right there. Let me just tilt that just a little bit. There we go. Zoom in. And, and there we go. Hopefully y'all can see that a bit better. Batteries. Um, this engine will be coming out. It will be coming out. And I'll show you all the other side over here in just a second. It'll be coming out. All this is going to get ripped out. All of it is going to be, the boat's going to be completely rewired. Um, I'm going to do that because I'm going to have a new engine in it that doesn't sit as high as what this one does. Uh, so it'll fit below the deck. Uh, I'm going to rewire it because I'll just feel safer. It, it, it's just a personal preference. I'll feel safer. Um, and just honestly, there's no telling if any of the original wiring is still in here, which if it is, that's a little dangerous. All right, let's flip up this side. This side's easier to get up than what the other side is. But you can see there's towels down there. It's got oil and all that fun stuff. And it's dirty down there, which is expected. But yeah, there's a gas can down there. Um, got a hose running into it. Hadn't exactly took the time to figure out why that's there. It's not the gas tank. Dear God, those are in the back. There's two of them in the stern. I'm actually going to cut the ends of those off and weld them together, and there'll be one tank. You know, sit in the middle like the orcas did and have the two lockers on the side. Um, there was actually, when the boat was delivered, down below was a brand new, let me turn that, Napa oil filter. Never taken out of the sil silicon. Well, cellophane wrapping, not silicon. Never taken out of the cellophane wrapping. I thought that was kind of cool. I found a bunch of stuff on this boat. But, uh, I actually found an old pipe wrench. And, uh, I'm going to fix that up. And I might do a little video on how I did that. Or how I will do it, rather. But, uh, yeah, this is the engine compartment. This is going to be taken out. If you notice, the uh, deck, yeah, you can't see it because of the uh, glare shining from the sun. But uh, the deck here is raised to accommodate this just a little bit, by at least two inches. It's not bad. Maybe an inch and a half. But uh, let's...
do a little handy cam on this real quick and then we'll take you down below and we'll finish this up. It's all dirty, I know. Getting it out is going to be fun, getting the engine out, which will also be a video within itself uh, later down the line. As I start to take everything apart and off the boat, I'll take this off. We'll do the other side in just a second. Right, watch this clip here. So, that was easier this time. Here we go. And you can see all that crap down there. All the wiring. I'm going to do my best to make that neater too. Alright. So, what do y'all say we... Go on down to the lower cabin. Come on. Alright, so here we are down the lower cabin. You'll notice it looks quite small. Well, that's, that's because the cabin on the Batsoma has moved more forward than what it was on the Orca. And the Orca has also extended this section here where the sides are. It was higher which is why I'm kind of having to bend over here. And it also extended more forward, which is fine. And it was also extended back. So, again, the cabin is going to be moved back. This will be made higher, obviously. And then it will also go further back, and that will allow me to put, I haven't decided yet, exactly how I'm going to do it, but my plan down here is, is to put a shower, a head, which is a nautical term for a toilet, two beds, or one bed, and a little kitchenette and like a little workbench kind of thing. And you know, you're probably thinking, well, how you don't do that in such a small space? The thing is, when I get done doing this, this is not going to be that small anymore. That's the beauty of boat building. It's going to be really nice when I get done. Right now, all this leaks like a sieve. Good Lord, it rains. <laughs> all this down here, <clears throat> these planks down here where the bilge is, uh, after a certain point, the garbage uh, were not removed after a certain point for inspection, which I didn't do. The, the naval architect and stuff did that, naval engineer. Um, so it accumulates water, and it, I know why it leaks around here where it's cracked and the wood's cracked and come unsealed and all that good stuff and uh last time it rained i believe i had a good four to five inches down in the bilge which uh was not good i wish i had the pumps running that would have been helpful but uh let me move the camera and you can get a better look in here
All right, guys. That uh, that concludes our inspection and videos of uh, all five episodes. So now the real stuff gets to begin. And that's going to include uh, watching me take some things that I've already taken off here. Uh, taking that off. Uh, taking a bunch of stuff off. Uh, the biggest thing is going to be removing the cabin and everything. Removing the engine. Y'all don't get to watch this happen. Um, really excited about it. And like I always say, I hope y'all stick around and be on this journey with me. Because <clears throat> I really think what I'm doing here is something special. And as always, guys, hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to turn your bell notifications on so you know that whenever I upload a video, you get that instant notification on your phone, mobile device. So, uh, as always, guys, thank y'all. Thank you for coming. I'll see y'all in the next one.